Hi there! A while ago I have received my monolithic Turkish bow from Lukas Navalny. This bow has an extremely nice painting on it, so it's a beauty. And uh, for this bow I wanted to have beautiful arrows as well. So this is Argos feather fletching. And um, yeah, to complete this set I wanted to have an extremely nice quiver as well and I know that this is a lot of work so I thought it, it could be better done by someone else, an expert and uh, I've seen a lot of posts from Eric's left and uh, his work looks so amazing so I asked him if he could do me a quiver and here it is isn't it a beauty? so this is the Turkish quiver style with a three-point ridging. Come a little closer. So you see the tree of life in two versions. So we carve the leather. So it's very stable leather. In the moment it's brand new so it's a bit stiff. Here's a lot of room for arrows as well as here. Very nicely done very neat work and here with a sign and what I very much like is this extra fixing point for the leg so and if I have used it much this will open up yeah and uh, for such a beautiful quiver it takes A beautiful belt. Isn't that amazing? So um, a very very cool done. Very cool, very cool. So I have no better words for this. It's just perfect. And compared to the bow, huh, this is a perfect match. Here the colors match perfectly. Wow! And now I use it the first time. Okay, done! Huh? Cool, isn't it? So very, very nice, very beautiful. And uh, the belt makes you slim. In case you wear a jacket or I wear a jacket, then I can widen it. Yeah, so it's perfect. Just in case you think um, if you're going on a horse ride, um, the arrows might slide out because they are relatively loose here. This is no problem. Then you take a bit of felt, just uh, wrap it up, stuck it in, and then the arrows um, are a bit, mm, it's a bit more effort to put it in, but then they are fine they don't get lost. So this is not a problem. Okay, let's shoot. Okay, so this bow has 35 pounds at 28 inches. It's a bit heavy for me in the moment. So yesterday I've shot the 25 pound. Uh, I won't draw this to the max, to my max, and um, put it as far as it's possible for me now. This is not a full draw. This is not even a half draw. This is um, a quarter draw. <laughs> Center shot. Don't believe it. Next three. Mm. 
this bow is so good it draws in all direction it doesn't matter how you hold it but maybe i should it, uh, hold the way it's supposed to be Next try. Shoulder. Uh, if you, I yeah, forget about this one. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good. So, as soon as I'm uh, able to draw this bow again, will be nice. Okay, so uh, 35 pounds are too much in the moment, but I have another option, the Fiti. So um, I now continue shooting with the Fiti, Turkish form as well, and uh, okay, let's do it. Other arrows? Such a smooth draw. <laughs> Very nice. So yes, it's strongly depending on the poundage, how you feel the draw. So of course, 24 pound feel much softer than 35 if you are at the level of 25 pound. So uh, there will be one day even I say 24 pound nothing and um, then it's fine with the 35 pound and then I would say 40 pound this is something but in the moment I feel the difference a lot. 24 pound is very good in the moment. So in case you ask yourself how many um, arrows could fit into this quiver, um, hard to say, um, a lot. So currently there are 13 in, um, there are three small ones, but there are also a lot of large ones. Um, so depending on the diameter of your arrow, I would suggest um, 50 to 60 arrows in total, maybe a bit more. So it's depending on your arrow. So there's still room, a lot. Yeah, so cool. Okay, after testing this beautiful quiver, I approve this is a fine working quiver. So uh, it's just as intended, works perfectly, fits. Uh, Henrik has already put in the right length here, so it fits perfectly. I do not need to adjust anything, although I could and it's just fine it's great Henrik you have done an amazing job and thank you very much for creating this quiver for me and um, and for sending it so thank you all for watching and uh, have a nice week bye